So here are the scales all finished and let's get a close look on the show side scale. Now again, this is the G Carta green thumb material. It's got the green with the black. It looks really, really good. 
I gave it a 320 finish and then I put some tongue oil on it to make it pop as you guys saw in the customization part of the video but really really happy with how these turned out now one thing I kept in mind with these scales is to keep them a little bit thicker and I did contour them but one thing I wanted to do was to keep it thicker because the ones that it originally comes with is very very thin and really really flexible and where you have that recessed area for the lock bar relief it's very very thin as you guys can see here which really surprised me that Spyderco went that thin I mean it's a full liner so it makes sense but it is very, very thin, especially when the liner is installed. So what I wanted to do was I made sure to keep the G Carta versions just a little bit thicker because G Carta itself is already, it's already pretty soft. So I really, really didn't want to go as thin as the originals. So as you guys can see here, it's a little bit thicker. If you can pick that up on the camera, there we go. So I matched the thinness or the illusion of being the same thickness on the side but again that contour adds a little bit of thickness in the center which makes this or makes these scales a little bit more rugged a little more tough and then I also added a recessed area slightly different from the original so you guys can see right there so this is just cut out one big chunk and then over here I left just a little bit of material so it's a little bit again just a little bit stronger and not as flimsy and it still functions so I'm really happy about that but again kept them thicker so that you I guess don't end up with weak scales which was my main goal for these scales so enough talking about it let's put it together and see what it looks like So here it is all put together and I think it looks really really good that green really pops since that tongue oil makes those colors really really come out and I remember to give the the full liners a nice beautiful satin finish all the way around here it is on the pocket clip side now the customer uh, Jaron thank you again for sending this out to get it customized but he sent it out with no pocket clip so I'm using one of my pocket clips just to make sure everything lines up, which it does. And this is what it's gonna look like with the pocket clip. Again, I don't know which pocket clip he's using, but the screws work. And I will be sending the screws with it because since I made the scales a little bit thicker, the hardware needed to be a little bit longer. As you guys can see, it's kind of poking through right there. But I didn't wanna send the knife back and he's not able to use the pocket clip because of the thickness of the scales so just didn't want to do that and that should come in handy those extra long screws but there it is and we are gonna see how this thing functions which it should since I made sure in the shop but here we go okay so Spidey flicks out and it drops shuts pretty smoothly uh, I did my best to try and center it and you guys know how it goes with some spider codes. They're just kind of finicky. Uh, I'm sure the, I attempted a quick version of the metal complex blade centering, uh, but I'm sure if I was to do it 100%, it would be perfectly centered. And before I ship it out, I'm gonna do that. But it does function. The drop shut is, I mean, it's pretty drop shutty. I mean, push that in and it, it does wanna fall. So I am happy about that. And here we'll give you guys a close look of it deployed. With that crew wear blade, which looks really, really good. Now, I'm not sure if crew wear is etchable. I mean, I'm sure I could etch and stonewash uh, the crew wear steel. I won't be doing this since the customer doesn't want that done, but 
I think I think it's okay to do that to crew wear, but let me know down below if it's okay to etch and mainly etch the blade. So I want to make sure with you guys before I actually commit to doing this to a crew wear blade, because more than likely I will be purchasing my own crew wear spider co because of the full liners. But again, really happy with how it turned out. I hope Jaron really likes it. And as always, thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.